Hi, uh, my name is uh, David Stoloff. I'm a professor in the education department at Eastern Connecticut State University. I've been here for 26 years and watched this campus grow. Um, I was before that I was a professor at Sonoma State University, and before that California State University, Los Angeles, and before that SUNY Plattsburgh, and before that I was a I went to UCLA for my doctorate in comparative and international education. Went, I, w I was a researcher in educational technology in Dallas, Texas. I was uh, a researcher in uh, educational technology and social foundations of education when I was a grad student at Concordia University in Montreal. And I taught one year in Israel at an American high school. And I taught two years with the Peace Corps in Zaire, where I started my first teaching, where I was a biology, math, and English teacher. Um, uh, it's been a long career, but it, uh, and it's changed in many different ways. But I became interested in educational technology when I noticed when I was climbing the walls in Jerusalem and looked out towards uh, the holiest places for three religions. And at that year, it was 1974, all I saw was antennas uh, blocking the image. It was a forest of antennas blocking the images of all the holy places. And I thought if you, I was coming from teaching in Zaire where I barely had chalk to the idea of what if I got into educational technology and that's where, that's why I, I got into a graduate program in educational technology at Concordia University in Montreal and recognized that media had, would have a great effect on the social foundations of, uh, of education and of life. Um, my, my interests have gone with computer technology. I rode that way for a while. And now I'm getting into global collaborations in education. And I'm looking for partners, who would, uh, particularly university faculty, who would like to open up their classrooms to my classrooms undergraduates who are studying international cross-cultural education. And I'm looking uh, to uh, have open Zoom meetings with them. And uh, this is our class, our class here with your class there. And then having the students break up into small groups where they could get to know each other across the, uh, using social media, perhaps synchronously at, if they want to do that, although time zones are a challenge or perhaps asynchronously if they want to send messages to each other, and perhaps develop uh, global projects using the uh, 17 sustainable development goals that the United Nations have developed that they hope to fulfill by 2030, things like eliminating poverty, uh, reducing the carbon footprint of the planet. Um, so if you're interested, uh, my uh, email address will be somewhere in around, so please email me if you're interested in connecting with my undergraduates here. Uh, I think that we have found, and we have uh, the partnership now includes the Chinese Culture University in Taipei and the University of Management and Technology in Lahore, Pakistan, and the American University in Cairo, and the Co and Colorado State University in Co uh, Colorado Springs where we're going to open our, each of our classes and have discussions, global discussions via Zoom and starting in September of 2021. But we have plenty more room and I hope this project goes on for many years and serves as a model. For those who are in preschool to K-12 schools, you do recognize that these kinds of projects have gone on for many years. Um, and uh, it's just uh, now, uh, it's a little harder to get partners in universities because universities tend to have specific curriculum that aren't open for these types of, uh, of projects. But I'm hoping with your support and the support of others, we can go ahead with doing that. So I welcome you to connecting with me. Remember that Connecticut is the connecting state. So please email me and we'll have a discussion about it. Thank you very much.